Hi, in this particular video we've been told that the triangular prism and the cube shown have the same volume and that's very important in this particular question, it's the same volume as each other. And then it says the cross section of the triangular prism is a right angle triangle, find the expression for the length of one edge of the cube in terms of P. Okay, let's not worry about that too much and just concentrate on this first line and look at working out the volume of the triangular prism. Okay, well as you know if you want to work out volume of something it equals area times depth okay so let's just have a look at that for a moment if we look at the area of this triangle here it's going to be a half of 2p times 9p so the area is a half of 2p which is the height multiplied by 9p which is the length and then the depth in order to work out the volume of this uh, triangular prism is going to be 3p. Okay so if we then start to work all of that out what we get is 2p times 9p is 18p squared so this bit in the brackets is 18p squared and then a half of 18p squared is going to be 9p squared and that's multiplied by 3p. Okay, so just take your time to think about that. 2p times 9p is 2 times 9 is 18 and p times p is p squared and then we're looking at a half of it. So a half of 18p squared is 9p squared. Multiply that by 3p and we're going to get 27p cubed and that's actually the volume of the triangular prism and what it tells us is that both the triangular prism and the cube have the same volume so in other words the volume of the cube is also 27p cubed. Now in order to work out then the length of one side of the cube you've got to imagine that each of these is let's call it x and x and then um, x. So in other words we're looking at the same number multiplied by the same number multiplied by the same number and that equals 27p cubed. So in other words for us to find out then the length of each of the edges of this cube we just basically want the cube root of 27 p cubed and that will give us then each of the edges of the cube. Okay so the cube root of 27 is 3 and the cube root of p cubed is going to be p. So the length of each of the edges of this particular cube must be 3p, 3p and 3p. Okay and that will give us then the expression for the length of one edge of the cube in terms of p. Um, I hope that's been okay for you. Please don't hesitate to add a comment below, subscribe to the site and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.